And we're back live at the IT Championship, where the wireless downloading finals are just about to begin. A lot of tension on the ground as these two IT athletes prepare to battle it out in this very important event. And they're off. And what a start for Ike. To challenge the contestants, both access points are located far away and are also connecting multiple clients. And it looks like the other vendor is having a hard time handling the distance. You said it, Tom. These guys are both using 802.11N devices, but Cisco's AP is using four antennas for each radio, while the others only have three. Coming up on the finish here, and yes, it's a new world record. Cisco is 30% faster. Let's see that finish again in slow motion. Wow, incredible. Just mind-blowing. Tom, I took advantage of the Cisco client link technology to optimize the downlink connection to mobile clients and the results speak for themselves. And Ike Theodore Willis with another gold for the Cisco team. We'll be back with more right after this. Welcome back to the IT Championship, where we're just seconds away from our next event, the BYOD Secure Onboarding Finals. On your marks, get set, go! And they're off. Both competitors will now attempt to onboard devices to the network and modify their security policies. It's a neck-and-neck -neck race. Hmm, it seems like Zach is working hard, don't you think? And check Ike's easy-to-use interface. Zach is now working on his last device, and he fell right into that trap. That's right, Tom. That was a jailbroken device that should not have been allowed on the network. Lucky for Ike, Cisco ISC has got dynamic profiling for posture, and that prevents these kinds of security problems. And I think Ike, yes, he's already modifying the security policy. That's the way to do it. It appears that the other vendor has multiple separate policy views compared to a single view with Cisco. Unbelievable. This poor guy's gonna be here all night. And Ike, yes, he's done. Sensational. Cisco proved today that they know the D in BYOD. Bring your own device. And Ike Willis with another amazing win for the Cisco team. We'll be back with more right after this. Welcome back to the Wireless Troubleshooting Finals, where contestants are scored on their troubleshooting performance and they are also being graded for their presentation. Zach is now inspecting the problem he'll need to troubleshoot in his routine. Ooh, some nice maneuvers by Zach. A perfect double axle, double click. Now let's see Zach's troubleshooting skills. Zach is trying to fix radio interference problems. Mm, look at all that manual work. <laughs> yeah, and check out the video. So much work, but so little improvement. Ike is next. Let's see what he has to offer. Wow, a terrific triple twist launch of Cisco's Prime. And look at this. Tom, look how Cisco's clean air technology fixes the radio interference problem automatically. That's a big plus over all the manual work Zach had to do. But hold on, I don't think he's done. It looks like he's about to, and yes, the spin and click application level troubleshooting. Unbelievable, the system indicates application performance levels. Ike switches the priorities around. And look at the video quality now. Outstanding. Now that's what I call true network visibility. Combine that with proactive interference control and you got another perfect 10 for Ike and Cisco.